Hello everyone and today I'm going to be talking about Docker and Docker allows you to create, deploy and run application by using containers and containers will allow you to ship, ship your application, libraries and any of the dependencies as a single package and you can run it on multiple environments and infrastructure alike. So let's get started. So in order to install Docker, uh, I go on to their website and I go into the Docker desktop download for Windows because I'm running a Windows 10 environment and because I'm running a Windows 10 home environment I will have to install something called a Docker toolbox because usually it only supports the, the Windows 10 professional or enterprise edition so I will click here to get Docker toolbox and over here just click on get Docker toolbox for Windows and that will start downloading. So let's get started with the installation process. So I have already downloaded this installation package earlier. So double click on the installation package to start the installation. So yes. Next. Next. And just to give you some background, Docker Toolbox actually runs on VirtualBox. So the underlying in, uh, setup beneath Docker, it actually is running on VirtualBox. Because Windows 10 Home Edition doesn't support Hyper-V, it actually uses VirtualBox as the underlying layer. If you are using Windows 10 Professional or Enterprise, then you, are, you should go ahead and install uh, not the toolbox but the actual version. There we have the installation finished. So, I'm going to click finish here and you can see that we have now the Docker Toolbox and Kitematic installed and uh, Kitematic is basically a graphical interface for Docker. So I'm going to go ahead and run the quick start terminal and what it's actually doing underlying is it's basically um, starting up VirtualBox, it's downloading the VirtualBox ISO. So there we have the Docker interactive shell now available. So that means the Docker, Docker virtual machine is started. And you can do another thing. You can actually launch the Kitematic uh, GUI interface to see that the Docker, Docker is up and running. And because we are running on Windows 10 Home, we need to use VirtualBox. So here we have the Docker installed and we have both the command line interface as well as the GUI interface available. And that's all for this video. Thank you very much for watching.